What's up YouTube? So we got a quick one today. We are going to do some spring maintenance on a Woods 48 inch aerator. Uh, I've got a busted spoon, needs to be greased up, and all of these spoons need to be cleaned out. Uh, a buddy of mine's coming to uh, borrow it this weekend. He's uh, gonna aerate a little earlier than I usually do. But um, before we get into that, I need some coffee and uh, hopefully we don't break anything that's not already broken. Let's get to it. We got the aerator ready. I'm gonna do the work right here on the corner of my garage. Hopefully my truck won't get in the way. This way I can sweep all the little dirt turds, we'll call them turds, all the little dirt turds that come out of the spoons into the grass because Patty, Abby and Penny absolutely love to eat dirt. No, I don't get it, but that's them. So the tools to take care of this are pretty straightforward and simple. We've got a, uh, I've got an old hex driver, I guess, uh, Torx bit driver that's fairly rusted, fairly worn, and uh, I'm going to use this to drive into the end of the spoon. Got a wooden mallet to beat on the end of it. Got the safety glasses since I'm using a mallet and hitting wood and rocks and all that other fun stuff. And then to actually replace the spoon, half inch wrench. This is a gear wrench, ratcheting head, and a couple others just in case. Um, and then the spoons themselves, I only need to replace one. But here it is. It's just a three-quarter inch spoon. Uh, they're fairly industry standard as I understand. Should be straightforward. Hopefully uh, I only find one that is broken. However, can't guarantee that. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So now we're at the broken one, and I'm not quite sure how it broke, but that is what it looks like. It's pretty, uh, pretty not very pretty. But uh, regardless, we'll go ahead and get it out, get the new one in, and uh, keep on going with this maintenance. I don't want to cut my wrist on any of these sharp pieces, so I am being cognizant of where I am. That is pretty sharp. So we're actually gonna grab some pliers to pull it out. I'm gonna use my new Nipex. These things are awesome. So uh, thanks Tractor Time with Tim for introducing me to these. It's 
so apparently more persuasion is necessary. I see her, she's ridiculous. I gotta go when I gotta wrap the chicken. Well, you gotta drag her in. <laughs> Come on, bring that to me! pieces. So I really struggled getting that uh, new spoon in and after messing with it for a little while I realized it's because the two plates that are sandwiching it are being squeezed together by the uh, spoons leading and following it. So right now I'm loosening the, the the leading and following spoon that opened it up and allowed everything to go in nicely. So it looks like that did it. So what was going on? is the spoons that were before and after this one were clamped so tight that I actually couldn't even get this in there, the new, the replacement spoon. And so by loosening it up, it allowed that to go in and now the replacement literally just slid in super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bolt started. What you need? I'm going to the gym. Yeah. I wrapped the chicken. Okay. I wrapped it like an envelope. Yep. They look a little dry. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's, they were at 200 the whole time, right? Yeah, and we're gonna yeah. have, I've got this Mexican corn stuff for dinner. Okay. And then rice. Works for me. Okay, I'm gonna head to the gym. I'll be home around 5.30, 5.45. Okay. Penelope's in the crate. And Abby is free to do what she wants. Okay. Peace out, dude. Bye, have fun, I love you. So final torque, we're using good and tight. Don't think we, uh, they've got lock nut washers or nylon um, nylon inserts on the bolts, so these guys aren't really exactly facing vibration or anything. I'm gonna go back and tighten these guys up. We can call that one, uh, that one replaced. So hopefully we don't find any more broken ones. But uh, let's get back to uh, cleaning out the holes and then we'll throw some grease in it.
Now, if anyone knows of a tool to clean these things out that's better than this, or if anyone makes a tool, comment below. Let, uh, let us know what you use to do this, because um, I certainly wouldn't mind having something that is kind of designed for this purpose. But uh, this is working. Done with this one. Five down. Three to go. No whammies, all right, no whammies. And if those of you are curious as to what Katie and I, Mrs. Breaker, were talking about is, uh, well, Penny is crated because she's a puppy and we don't trust her to be in the house by herself yet. Um, and Abby is, uh, well, Abby's nine and she's a wonderful dog that we can count on to not do anything that we don't want her to do in the house when we're not around. So Abby gets free reign, and it's actually really cute because Abby comes and Abby and Penny have become best of friends. Penny's 14 months at this point, and uh, Abby and Penny really have become best of friends. So when Penny gets out of the crate, Abby is you know right there to greet her and couldn't be more excited. It's like her best friends being released to play. So that's a really nice treat, and it's been it's been a lot of fun because it's kind of put some youth back into Abby, who uh, I guess technically is a senior dog at this point. The, uh, the other thing we were talking about is um, Katie loves to uh, eat smoked meat, and I used to do a lot of smoking, but uh, I have stopped, and she has kind of taken over the reins on that. And so we've got uh, chicken quarters on the smoker right now, and they've been on for two hours. The way we do them is uh, two hours of smoke, and then we wrap them, and then uh, they get another three hours of cook. Um, two and a half to three hours of cook, and then they rest for a while, and they are just absolutely juicy and wonderful, and um, I'm, I'm excited for dinner tonight, needless to say. But, uh, hey, if you're, uh, you're enjoying these videos, I really do appreciate it. We both do, and the dogs do as well. Uh, the comments, the likes, and uh, definitely if uh, you're interested in more of the content, please subscribe. There's definitely some more stuff going on with the, uh, the temperature gauge on the tractor. Um, the cooling system is in progress and going nicely, it's the, the, the ox cooler. Um, so there will be a video on that at some point in the next hopefully couple of weeks. But uh, until then, uh, we got some other fun channel news coming up. Um, for example, uh, there's a shop tour that we're going to be doing and uh, hopefully this will be the last shop tour in this shop. Uh, and we'll go, go over that in a little bit shortly as well. So uh, while I finish this up, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make or break or fixer. If there's anything that you want to see us do, uh, you know, we, we've got a, a, a partial metal shop and a fully equipped wood shop. Um, so there's, there is opportunity if there's something that you want to see us attempt. Almost done here, and then we can throw some grease on this. That is it. 
So to grease it up, uh, just a standard JD poly polyurea grease. Uh, nothing special, however, grease is incredibly important on this. And when you don't really think that these things go that far and do that much, I've got about a two acre lot that I cut and when I, I aerate, I use the, the, the John Deere Mo Tracking app and for me to do a proper aeration, which is doing essentially horizontal lines like this, and then going back over them at a 45, I cover almost seven to eight miles um, in that process with this guy. So these guys are going seven to eight, seven to eight miles or, you know, almost, almost a, a quarter of a marathon. So uh, that's a good bit of distance. And you definitely want to ensure that it's not metal on metal and you've got good grease coverage in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and squirt some grease in here once I grab a blue towel. And then uh, we can call this project quit. I hate grease. I, I find it just miserable, so uh, I try to avoid touching it, but that's usually unavoidable. There we go. Got some good grease coming out of there. Well, so much for not getting greasy. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, love your comments below if you don't mind telling me what you use to clean out your spoons. And um, hopefully everyone has a great uh, beginning of the spring and season and summer. And uh, thanks for watching. Be the person your dog thinks you are, guys. Have a good one.